police and city leaders held a news conference calling on the community to step up and help in the prevention efforts. 10 News reporter Connor Dietrich was at the news conference. He joins us live in the newsroom tonight. Connor, police saying they've never seen this before. John, the two deadly shootings over the weekend now account for 26 homicides so far this year. It's a number that police say they've never seen. It's the highest number ever and one that they haven't come close to in decades. Roanoke police, city and community leaders are remaining hopeful something will change when it comes to gun violence. Can't give up on this. It's not time to give up now. We don't stop our clock. But the numbers aren't showing any signs of hope. Over the weekend, two separate shootings took the lives of three people and injured one. The shootings marked 26 homicides in the city this year, a number historically that has never been seen in Roanoke. Back in the 70s, that uh, there were somewhere around 25, 24, 25 homicides. Uh, now, in the last 20 years, we have not exceeded uh, 20 before this year. Police say 15 of the 26 have been closed or have a primary suspect, including Edward DeNoyer, who RPD believe is responsible for killing two people and injuring another off Melrose Avenue Sunday night. These aren't just random acts of violence. Instead, police say a lot of it comes down to arguments escalating. There's no apparent connection or nexus to gang violence or gang culture regarding these homicide incidents. It appeared that all of them stem from personal relationship uh, at gatherings uh, and sometimes a combination of the two. The city's new gun violence prevention effort, Ceasefire Victory in the Valley, advocated for 30 days without a shooting. Data 10 News has collected shows the longest span without a shooting so far this year has been 21 days. Vice Mayor Joe Cobb calling on the community to do their part. And we are all doing everything that we possibly can. The only way we can do more is if citizens step up and join us in that effort. A hope for change is inevitable when data shows historic violence. But police and city leaders' message remains the same. Everyone needs to do their part. City and community leaders say the ceasefire initiative will still continue. They say each day there isn't a shooting in Roanoke is a small step towards their goal. Live in the newsroom tonight, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.